Good morning from a very gray and rainy Glendalock. Um, very different from when I did my hike here a few days ago. Like, there's the round tower, there's all the drizzle. So, if it just drizzles like this all day, I will be totally fine. Nice little Irish mist. Um, if it starts actually pouring or we get the actual thunderstorms that it's predicting, um, I will be less fine. So my current plan is there's two kind of shorter, closer to this like main area hikes. Um, one is very short and it's just like um, up this trail up next to this waterfall and back down again. Um, it was like a little bit of a, the section that I actually cut out when I was doing that big hike around here a couple days ago. So like the white route comes down here and that orange route that I ended up going on come down here, but I connected them. So I missed that little bit. Oh, it's definitely starting to rain. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I decided to go do that little bit. It's not very much, some elevation. I'm hoping it's, I think it's in the trees, so it shouldn't be too bad. And then there's one other hike this way um, that shouldn't be too hard, but it's definitely a little longer. Um, but again, I think it's in the trees, so I'm hoping that that will help with the rain. Um, I do have my full gear on. Um, so we'll see. And if I get too wet and too waterlogged, uh, I'll just go back. My shoes did dry. I put them in the boiler room and that was really great. Um, they don't have a real drying room, but boiler room worked. So that's it for now. Look how low the clouds are. You can't even see where I was hiking up on that ridge the other day. Wild. Of course, just when the uh, rain abated a little bit, I'm like being swarmed by bugs. So good thing I brought my face net thing. <laughs> I'm now covered from head to toe. I think this little river stream thing is what turns into the waterfall. It seems that other little stream joins with this one and then they head down for the waterfall. waterfalls are always pretty but like not impressive in the same way we have waterfalls in the Northwest. See? So pretty. But not like powerful. So I think this was the site of St. Kevin's cell. Cell is in like, like place of worship. I don't think it means like jail, but yeah, it's kind of anticlimactic. But at least there's a really pretty view. I totally tell that when the water level is lower, or even when it's not, people go out there and take pictures standing on that rock clump. Oh yeah, you can even kind of see there's like stepping stones when the water level is a little lower. 100%. And that's where I climbed a few days ago. That's that waterfall. You can kind of see the path right next to it on the right. And then up onto the ridge. When you're walking, there's so many of these like dark sticks. And back in England, um, adders or snakes were a big problem. Um, I mean, I didn't see any, thank God. But uh, they always warn you like, when you're walking around, like keep an eye out, don't step on snakes. And so I keep freaking out thinking I'm stepping on a snake. 
but um, there's no snakes in Ireland um, because of St. Patrick, they say. Um, rid Ireland of snakes or they just never developed here. I don't know, but there's no snakes in Ireland. So it's not something I need to be worried about, but I'm always worried about it. Lunch with a view. This isn't terrifying. I'm just like sitting here eating a sandwich and they were all over there and now they're all over here. I do not wish to share. Look at this. I'm just trying to eat my sandwich and they're like following me. And that guy's still here. They clearly get fed by humans because they literally have no fear of me whatsoever. Like, look at this. Hi. Look how close I am. That's the first time they've moved away from me. I think they're kind of baby still. I think that's their mom over there. Yes, go follow your mom. Leave me alone. Thank you very much, goodbye. And there's another mama duck over there bringing her even smaller babies. And there's like a whole group over here. So somehow became surrounded by birds. So just after I left you last, it was pouring rain. Um, so I decided to go back to the hostel and dry off, at least try to, um, chill out, let the rain pass. And it kind of has, like it's still wet, but um, it's not like pouring anymore. So um, I'm going to go try to do the gray root or silver root, I don't know what it's called. Um, but it's a little section that's supposed to go dip into the next valley over um, and go a little bit on St. Kevin's Way, which is a much longer route you can do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try that out and see what I see. That's adorable. Well, stepping stones, the little boardwalk, even though there's a sign that definitely says private property, so it must be for individual use, but lovely. So this is the next valley over from where I'm staying. Just as pretty, slightly less dramatic. So that was our little jaunt on the yellow one, which is St. Kevin's Way. The one on the left, which is more of that miner's way which again is the old mining uh, stuff. And then the gray one over there, that's the path we're taking. So now it becomes a wood trek. This is super disorienting. It's like dark. Actually, here, let me see if I can show you what it actually looks like. Okay, that's actually what I'm seeing. So much green everywhere. Well, that path dropped me right here at the bottom of Upper Lake, and I think that's gonna be it for me for Glendalock. I'm gonna go follow this road back to my accommodation, have some dinner, pack up, and then I will be traveling all day tomorrow to get to Ackle. It's been a good time here. <laughs>